Now joining me in studio, this interview is a little different than my others. We have someone new joining us at WBNG, and I am pleased to introduce our new evening anchor, Nicole Long. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Good, good. How does it feel to kind of see yourself on screen for the first time here? It's a little jarring. This is a very <laughs> different setup than what I'm used to, but I, I'm loving it. It's very, you know, it's kind of like you're at home, just talking yeah. to a friend. I want to update the set, so maybe <laughs> eventually I'll get an update. Um, so, tell me a little bit about your background, about yourself. Sure. So, I am completely new to New York. I am originally from Phoenix, Arizona, born mm -hmm. and raised there. Went to school out there, Arizona State. Um, and then my first job was out in uh, northern Michigan, Traverse City, if anybody's familiar with it. I was there for almost three years, uh, just kind of doing everything in the reporting world possible. You know, mm -hmm. it was my first job out of college. So, really just getting my feet wet and kind of getting introduced into this world that we mm -hmm. all know and love mm -hmm. um, and yeah now I'm here so did you report more in Michigan then I did yeah so I started as a breaking news anchor actually for about a couple months and then I moved to reporting mm -hmm. uh, did that for about a year and then I moved to weekend anchoring okay and then when you came here for your interview mm -hmm. like a little while ago when yeah. I saw you kind of what made you want to stay here and kind of take the job so something that I find really interesting it's it's kind of similar to northern Michigan in the scope of you know it's very small town mm -hmm. vibes kind of mm -hmm. but what I love about Binghamton and Johnson City is that it's kind of in the center of everything I mean you're three hours away from mm -hmm. a lot of major cities which I love that's absolutely fantastic and you also have so much to do outside I love hiking and getting mm -hmm. outdoors so I'm really excited to do that especially when the leaves change color like yes. I'm such a fall person now because mm -hmm. you know out in the desert leaves don't change and there's no yeah, season yeah. so I'm such a seasoned person now and so uh -huh. I'm really excited to see you know everything change out here and mm -hmm. see if it's different than what I'm used to yeah I've lived in Binghamton my whole life mm -hmm. so it is like that small town vibe but it's not like it's bigger than you think yeah you know, but like I feel like it has a great small town vibe like you exactly said. it's like it's still a city but you yeah. still kind of know everything that's going on yeah yeah you'll learn a lot about it obviously <laughs> there's a lot of things to do but um so one question what's your hobbies I got to get to know you because I haven't even talked to you that much so I, I want to know your hobbies <laughs> um so hiking like I said I'm trying to be an outdoor person and get mm -hmm. outside and you know, stretch my legs. Um, I do a lot of reading. I'm trying to build like my own little library at home. Okay. Uh, it's not going so well. <laughs> okay, that's okay. We'll get there. <laughs> yeah. So maybe one of these days it'll finally be big enough to call a library. Um, I also love movies. I'm a big kind of movie person. Not really the classics though, which mm -hmm. I feel like some cinephiles are going to get mad at me for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, and then other than that, that's that's kind of it. I we you know we don't really have a lot of free time. We're kind of just mm -hmm. here all mm -hmm. the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't get to watch a lot of movies anymore. Yeah. But I do try to like keep active and go on hikes too. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of great places around here. So, what's your favorite part about journalism? Getting into it and continuing your journey. Sure, I I love meeting people and mm -hmm. kind of giving them their five minutes of fame. You know. Uh, just being a reporter for a year, you know, that's not a very long time in the scope of a life. Mm -hmm. But there were so many stories that I did that kind of impacted a lot of people in their community um, and just kind of had a really big positive impact. And that's kind of, you know, the rewarding part of this job. And that's kind of what I fell in love with because when I started this career, I wanted to be an anchor and just, you know, sit at the desk, mm -hmm. read the teleprompter, and that was it. But getting out and meeting so many new people and kind of finding what they found joy in life really mm -hmm. kind of drew me into this and is what I want to keep doing. Okay, awesome. And then one last question I have is what do you hope to bring to WBNG from going oh. to Arizona to Michigan? I know, it's a tough That's question. That's like the hardest question. I, um, I don't know. I guess kind of what I've learned over the years, um, you know, coming to a new station, you guys do so many things differently, but I mm -hmm. feel like you know, there's always room to grow and kind of bringing in new ideas and kind of collaborating in that sense. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's something that I'm most excited for is that collaboration. No, that's, that's a great answer. Yeah. That was perfect. <laughs> well, it was nice to meet you. I feel yeah. like we haven't even talked that much. And I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> Thank and, you. Yeah, I hope you enjoy it here because I do. So yeah. you better stay here, okay? All right. Okay. No promises. All right. <laughs> All right, perfect.